This video shows how to get a peritoneal dialysis fluid sample from the PD catheter using sterile techniques. A fluid sample from the PD catheter is needed when an infection called peritonitis is suspected. Put on a mask. The person on dialysis and everyone in the area needs to wear a mask. Close any open doors or windows. The next step is to wash your hands for 40 seconds to 1 minute. This seems like a long time, but it is important. Next, clean the table with disinfectant and then gather the supplies for this procedure. Hand sanitizer, gloves, several packs of gauze pieces, Alkavis solution, mini cap, blue pads, PD effluent bag, and lab specimen bag. Place blue pad under the catheter. Open two 4x4 gauze packages carefully on the work surface, but leave the gauze in the packaging. Pour or spray Alkavis solution on the gauze. Access the PD catheter by removing it from the belt. Next, gel your hands, then put on your proper size gloves. The transfer set is attached to the PD catheter. Scrub the end of the transfer set with the first gauze saturated with Alkavis for one minute. Then wrap the end of the transfer set with a new 4x4 saturated with Alkavis and let it soak for one minute. During the soak, gel your hands and put on new gloves. Hold the transfer set and remove the mini cap. Attach the effluent sample bag to the transfer set and open the twist clamp. Be careful not to contaminate. Allow at least 50 milliliters to drain into bag or until bag gets at least half filled. Close the twist clamp on the transfer set and close the clamp on the effluent bag. Gel hands and put on new gloves. Open two new packages of gauze. Pour or spray Alkavist on both pieces of gauze. Scrub the end of the transfer set for one minute with one piece of gauze and use second 4x4 gauze saturated with Alkavist to let it soak for one minute. Change gloves. Do hand hygiene and put on a new pair of gloves. Disconnect the effluent bag. Place the new mini cap on the end of the transfer set. Put a new mini cap on the effluent bag. Write your child's name on the label on the effluent bag and take it to the designated lab.